Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here for realagriculture.com on the Corn School, joined by Peter Johnson. Hey, thanks for taking some time. Hey, absolutely, Bert, anytime. Now, people have been waiting for this show for a long, long time. We're going to talk about the results of the flag test, which you ran on your farm last year. The idea came from Randy Dowdy, 2016, at SWAC. Tell us, just recap what we got up to. Yeah, so really cool. When Randy was there, he's the National Corn Growers Champion at the time, 504 bushels per acre. And he went out and he flagged corn plants as they emerged. And as they emerged, he found that a 12 hour difference, just 12 hours between when this one emerged and this one emerged, would mean a final difference in yield of up to 40 bushels per acre between those two plants. Mm -hmm. And we all said, ah, that can't be. No. So we need to go out there and figure out if this is real. And so that's did. exactly what we did. We went to the field, we flagged plants. We didn't do it on 12 hour basis. Gosh, that's too much work for even me, even for Shane, my technician who does all the real work. But we went out and we flagged them every day as they came up. And so really cool stuff that we learned. And yeah, it's cool that people want this information too. So what did we measure? We actually looked at a couple of different things. So we looked at leaf tips at the six leaf stage. So we flagged them when they emerged, mm -hmm. and then when the average plant got to six leaf overs, that's the, you know, the weed staging, we went and we just, we counted leaf tips yes. because that's the easiest way to make sure that, that we're, it's, it's less subjective. It's a more objective way to count. So leaf tips we counted. We looked at final yield. Now look at this slide, yeah. right? Final yield, the, the variability in terms of what we saw, amazing. So there's something there, right? There's absolutely something there. And we also did plant height. We won't talk about that, not a lot of cool stuff there. And, and moisture, not surprisingly, right. moisture, the earlier it came up, the, the, the drier it was at harvest. So that's just sort of what you'd expect. Now, let's dig into your, the results, what people want to know. T take us through this slide. You've got six days in emergence, you've got leaf tips, yeah, Talk about that. So, so what we essentially did, and this is averaged across all the trials, so there's a whole bunch of different data in there, but when we look at it, really interesting. So day one, we look at those plants that emerged, and they're you know, almost eight leaf tips. And then each day, we get less, less leaf tips. What's interesting is if you notice, when you look at this data, it's not too bad, the difference between day one and day two. And day three and day four were still not terrible. Day four is starting to get, you know, we're almost maybe a leaf stage behind, but, but not quite. We hit day five, it's like we fell off the cliff. We just boom, and all of a sudden, by day six, we're a full two leaf stages behind. So that difference between the first four days and the next two really make an impact because in the research you get to two leaf stages behind and you get those little wee cobs that we saw in, in that picture of all the cobs. So, so that's pretty cool that over just six days and then we do have the really late emergers and some of these plants took 14 days to emerge so some really some big differences there but you can see that you know after six days it's, it's really pretty well over. And the bottom line on yield, let's flop that up there. Boom, look at that. Yeah, so absolutely really cool stuff, right? We're looking at essentially between day one and day two, 5% less yield. And, and most guys are saying that can't be, that's too big a difference. But that's what the data says. And so if you look at, at day four, we're at a 14% yield loss, we're 86% yield. Day five, oh, do the wheels fall off? We're at 61% yield now. So that's a you know 39% yield loss just to get to day five. By day six, we're, we're down under 50%. Like it just, boy, does that make a difference. So really big stuff. Now I want to talk about whether Randy Dowdy is right or wrong, or whether we're in, and what we really learn from this. But first of all, I want to talk about some other things that you noticed as well. Because you said, you know, it's... Uh, even emergence is one thing, but there's a lot of other things going on in this field. Yeah, so it, what's really cool is we we flagged these plants and it was a little bit tough planting conditions in some of the stuff that we did. And so we didn't always get perfect seed to soil contact. I talk about cuddling the seed, right? We really want to do that. So have a look at this picture. You can see that where we got a plant, it can emerge on day one, but when it doesn't hug the, the 
base of the plant. When the soil doesn't get firmed around the base of that plant, it's really interesting because what happens is that plant emerges on day one. We come back and count at, day, at the six leaf stage and instead of being eight leaves or 7.8 leaves the way the rest of the plants are, it's now about seven leaves. It's a leaf stage behind. We come back and and it just keeps falling behind. It just keeps losing. And there's actually some plants that emerged on day one that ended up so far behind, they had no cob. They didn't cob at all. So this whole concept about emergence is important, but that microclimate that you create around the seed, and Tony Vines talked yep. about this, how it can vary, that, that makes a big difference as well. And we really learned that. It was cool. So Peter, let's come back to Randy Dowdy. Bottom line, should we be practicing the gospel according to Doughty? Yeah, so I think two things. Number one, get the heck out there and do this in your own field. It's amazing how much you will learn. Is Randy right? He's on the right track. I think his his numbers are a bit inflated for what we'd actually see in the field. Certainly we didn't see those big differences, but the relationship on average, it's just, it's straight down. So, you know, we talk lots about, about that photocopy stand, that every plant at the same stage, does it make a difference? The answer is yes. And downforce on the planter to make sure we get those seeds at uniform depth, probably make a pretty big difference. Not so much necessarily, you know, the spacing, like that old research, but gosh, get them all up on the same day, but make sure that that soil's in the right condition so that they don't change as they go through that growth th phase as well. It's, it's not just the emergence. Emergence is important, but there's more to it than that, just like always. Awesome. Well, Pete, great work on the flag test. Um, learned a lot, and uh, it was a year-long saga. Thanks for hanging in with us. Yeah, hey, we're going to do it next year too. What the heck?